How much do you feel like this is a, a calculated pivot to get a bit more right wing uh, viewers? They're trying to get sponsors and they're trying to show them that they're marketable. Trans people are not going to get and black people have not gotten rights off of civility. We're not trying to fit into the systems. We're not trying to work in the patriarchy and be like, well, let me be a housewife. You know, like I can't have babies, but I'll make you a sandwich. We are fighting for our own space. Uh, it's been interesting though I will say that for sure I can you know especially with just coming from like the upload of our conversation with uh, Benny Olemi um, the surfs um, Mike Figueroa from the Humus Report um, and June um, too I, I just like learned who they were on, on the panel so that was was very interesting and so um, it's been it's been good and Bad. Like I've gotten a lot of good attention, but now I've gotten a lot of Anna stands like coming at me. I even had if did you see the, the show where like Anna, what about the Stitch and whatever like that one podcast that she's people are pulling clips about right now? The co-hosts like, over posted screenshots of me and like in my comments saying like, oh like Soul Bunny, I'm. I'm disappointed or something like this one I'm disheartened this is just hurting for me like I don't know it was, it's very interesting so I went from like I, I do have like a lot of cool new like folks that are like see me and like recognize me or learning who I am I did get like a, a hella boost on everything nice. I could definitely say uh, the trans foes are out there <laughs> being transphobic yeah it's such a sad like backlash and I feel like they're so vocal and I've had a few people say like there's not as many transphobes out there but they are going to be t like three times as loud so and i imagine mm. there are a lot of anna stands as well because they've been in the game for like years now haven't they so good to see you on that stream i, I watched your insta story saying i'm going to be on this stream this is an amazing invite and then to watch it happen it was like really lovely because this this was like a pre-recorded i wasn't a stream i thought it was a stream oh, okay. but no it was just like a pre-recorded sure conversation that we uploaded right. um the next day so that was actually filmed the night before it's uploading so it was very interesting to see in the morning like i'm looking at my phone like oh when it's gonna come out i forgot some of the stuff i said <laughs> i want to see how it comes out. i know like i remember most of my strongest talking points that i was like nervous i'm like um hopefully this is like something that like i didn't I didn't be too shy or like embarrass myself, but no, like <laughs> picking up what June said. Um, so what I don't get is like, and I know you said this on the hill, only me, literally, like it'll be the same turf saying, you know, how trans women can't give birth, you know, what makes a woman is, you know, being able to give all these things, but this, you know, they turn, you know, birthing person into this, you know, all of a sudden, you know, they I'm have so a whole opposite, you know, exactly, a whole different talking point when that's what exactly they use against us. They use our chromosomes that makes them, or they use our uterus, all these things around being, you know, basically a birthing person that they yeah. feel is what solely makes a woman. So we all had an amazing conversation yeah. and that was, I would definitely say that that's like the moment when I realized that like, I'm here to stay. To see that there are like three now or so LGBTQA plus members of staff that have quit TYT and Anna and Jenk are still on their path. Like, how much do you feel like this is a, a calculated pivot to get a bit more right wing uh, viewers? I see it and I honestly think it's not even just that I just see it. I think they might be in a position financially where they're trying to get sponsors and they're trying to show them that they're marketable mm. for their donations or whatnot so maybe like the leftist progressive like the type of like donors that they used to get they're not as flowing as they used to so maybe like now they're at a point where like they're looking for other advertisers and they're making they're branding themselves in a way where they're going to be friend friendly for those folks so that's what i think it is i think genuinely based off of how anna has like just in the last year like the major shift like how, where she was talking and the issues last year was entirely different than how she is right now and it's insane because she even like brought on Olemi like she was like they were shouting out Olemi O'Leary on the hill when she was pushing back on the Elliot Page like transphobia and bigotry and not wanting to say his name and use his right pronouns and Jordan Peterson all that stuff like it was literally like recognized right. and they were making fun of people with the arguments that Anna is literally taking now it was an intense immediately shift so it's just like I'll, I'll be seeing now at the end of the day, it, it just, to me, it just sounds, it looks like it's a desperate attempt for 
a rebrand and she's saying the right things that's why she's talking about things like Kyle Rittenhouse like, that's like bringing up Jesse Smollett why are you bringing up that like, you're giving little like like um, Lamy said like they're giving little treats to what uh yeah. right ringers and what um like to hear what so she's invoking that yeah. I think that's who she's like, I've been saying from the jump, that's who she's talking to. She's talking past us. We're all, we're all like, that's why, like to us, right? If you think, if you believe that she was somebody who was genuinely leftist and she's not making a pivot and all of this different stuff, then it seems outrageous. Like, how could she possibly be ignoring? She's not seeing all her friends and colleagues and all these people and all, according to her, all the trans rights activists telling her all <laughs> these things. It's as the people she's ignoring them. Or, no, like she's getting these reactions. That's the point, right? Because the narrative, yeah. the why the, the the right wing pivot the narrative has to be look how i'm i'm i left the left does the left treat me like because they're crazy and they're irrational and they won't have a different opinion some of the other stuff that anna's saying we was mentioning it earlier she took she says words like biological woman when referring to cis women and mm -hmm. and it's like again all under that thing of like if you know you know kind of vibe like you know they've been in this game for a very long time they know exactly what they're doing and where what stance they're on so this can't be just some accident that they woke up and they didn't realize that they've not taken into consideration all of the medical information and the popular opinion and and their free lgbtq plus stuff that quit like they have to be actively ignoring this they're not stupid so then that's why to me it it, it smells like a grift because we know how much as well how much money is in the right wing and the backstory about, about, about the Daily Wire investments and how it came about. Like, if the right wing were broke and there was no money behind it, I'd be like, well, what have they got to gain? But we know, like, that, and there's money right now. And I said this at the beginning of the stream as well, but like, I don't think that money's going to be there forever. I think the, the transphobia wave, hopefully, is going to end when they realize there's no voting power behind it and, and et cetera. So maybe they're trying mm -hmm. to cash in now while they can. Um, yeah. What do you think about that? I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Like, for all we know, we don't know the financial situation. That's the thing. Yeah. None of us know the financial situation. So, like, for all we know, they could be close to being bankrupt. Yeah. But they're, they're, you know, damn well, Jake isn't going to, like, open up about that. That's something that Anna and Jake know. So, they really, like, they might be in a financial situation where either they need to get this quick money or two by two is going to be gone. And they're going to laugh at us when it's gone. Maybe. That's how I feel like of situation like they're in and probably the way like they're seeing it so i wouldn't be surprised because also like with right wing people like they would love to put money behind leftists and you know that pushes the narratives that they want so they can help the right wing vote or make people take votes from us because we're the crazy trans activists you know we're all crazy trans activists some of us are not just trans women or trans people in general just you can't even just call us trans people, you're calling us trans activists because yeah. you try to write us off as these unhinged people that no one agrees with us and we're not like just regular people that just aren't just, just people that want to be treated the same as cis folks and not to go through our own genocide. We want, we don't want, we're not going to lay down and take it and we're going to speak up. So Absolutely. to like write us off as like these like violent people like invoking the civil rights. It talked about the like non-violent protest and and how the civil rights movement wasn't violent to, that infuriated me and again i don't i didn't learn american history in the same way i, I barely learned british history because i was in the british education system and that was whitewashed as hell but like it's such a double standard and it's it's that thing of being held to higher standards but like how did that make you feel i'm just gonna by the way update the title of the stream to add featuring soul body if that's okay um, yeah, sure. But then I'd love to get your take on that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, That's what I wanted to bring up. I wanted to bring that up. <laughs> so funny. She used a right wing talking point because the same like right wing talking point that right wing people use against black people about how they use like the the civil rights movement, how it was peaceful against you know they did that in Black Lives Matter during 2020. Yes. They immediately yeah, invoked yeah. that. So it's That's their like, bag. It's their bag. So it's just like she immediately threw that out, and you know. And I had to lay it out in a tweet because I was getting all these right wingers in my comments just because I laid it out. I was like, come on, like, are you serious? Like, one, the civil rights movement is not a monolith. Mon monolith. Like, there's so many folks. There's Michael Max, there's Angela Davis, there's Nikki Giovanni. That's how Rosa Parks, she said, I ain't giving up my mother seat. Yes. She said she's not getting up too damn bad. You, you gonna have yes. to suck it up. She, These people all, they're all safe respectability politics. You're not gonna respectability politics, you're not gonna civility trans issues trans people are not going to get and black people have not gotten rights off of civility 
yeah. disability politics also, that does not get us anywhere it was actually a really deep conversation that because we're all like amongst comrades and other trans folks like the conversation was being had and we were able to touch multiple things outside of just anna herself like so there was definitely like when you go into the whole like weaponizing the civil rights movement against black people like they didn't uh, trans people but they did to black people in 2020 like that's exactly what republicans and racist people were doing they were invoking martin luther king and like you saw uh when uh olay broke down what actually martin luther king was for he wasn't this non-violent this whole fact that um martin luther king like that would be a mass slaughter and we'd be outnumbered it would be a slaughter i'm not going to do that to many people and uh, you know for me it's like it it it's just uh, like when I seen it, I laughed. I like I didn't get upset because to me that was just further confirmation that this is a pivot. This is a right wing grift. That is their playbook to 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 bring up MLK and invoke him in this respectable lady politics way. And yes, that's an excellent point. So Bunny is like, there are a million other civil rights leaders, right? Like a million of them else. But also, it is a mischaracterization of MLK's philosophy. I'm so sick of people, all these white people <laughs> who don't read books, talking shit on MLK's name. First of all, MLK has never, when did y'all hear MLK come out and say, I believe in all violence because, like, what are, we, what are we talking about? Because violence is wrong. He didn't say that. Read his books. He said, I believe these fucking white people will kill us and that we'll be outnumbered. That's what he said. We'll be outnumbered. It will be a mass slaughter and I don't want to bring my people to genocide. He, they don't even read their books and it's just like even there was just so much there was so much that like so it's like a racist dog whistle that was the dog whistle that was a dog whistle of a dog whistle so like right i had a tweet that um basically said like we're not gonna respectability politics or you're not gonna like you don't like respect res, res, respectability politics is uh, telling trans people and black people that respectability politics is gonna work is a white supremacy idea like, because at the end of the day it's like we're not gonna civility ourselves out of trans oppression. Absolutely. I, we're not. Absolutely. Like, as you see, it's, we're over here like, just being ourselves is getting us absolutely. oppressed and us you know, them invoking it. So what do they mean civility? We have been civil. When have we not been? When are we going out and doing the most? Movie? What are we going attacking folks? Exactly. When are we going and like being these we're violent? We're protecting ourselves from these attacks. Trans? Like we're turning up to yeah. like anti-protests from like drag queen like reading groups we're turning up to prevent harm like and this is this is the same thing i said this in the intro as well like we're not trying to fit into the systems we're not trying to work in the patriarchy and be like well, let me be a housewife you know like i can't have babies but i'll make you a sandwich we're trying to break that down and be like right we are fighting for our own space if it gets violent that's because you put up a fight and like and but like i mean the patriarchy fought back and which is what's happening and like mm. We're reacting. That's the thing. We're exactly. reacting. Everything we're doing is reacting. And also Absolutely. we're still going about this in a safer way because we know we're at risk. We're not going to do the most because we know we can't. We, we don't, we can't afford because you know what right wing, especially in America, they know what the quickness, they would, they would be, they would use firearms. Let's just use They already term. are. They would be used. This is, they already this are. Is the so are. if we were to be violent. It'd be a trans massacre. It'd be just the same fears that MLK had yeah. for his community. That it'd be a slaughter. It would be a slaughter. Yeah. Um, and this is what really gets me when, when especially you see a political shift like this with TYT, what we saw with J.K. Rowling, huge other like large platform-based people coming out and just not understanding the facts, having a bigger tree and talking about it. It causes physical harm. This is not just like some kind of chat that happens online and doesn't affect people's lives. The, the legislation, the bills happening in the US is one thing, which is causing physical, medical harm. But the hate crime in the UK has gone through the roof. It's always been quite high in the US. And, you know, racialized, you know, minorities are going to, they see it worse. And, and it, it infuriates me when people have a kind of on the fence starts of like, yeah, well, you know, I don't really know about it. I'm, I, it doesn't really affect me. And it's like, but you can't have no opinion of it the people are being murdered people are being assaulted and we're gonna fight back this is the thing like you're saying like not asking us to be non-violent is is like a bully in a high school playing field punching someone in the face and being like uh, you can't punch me back i think you should be non-violent in this situation it's like it's humorous like it's ridiculous it makes me furious some of us not even punching back we're pushing them back like yeah. back off us yeah it, like so that's another thing yeah. so it's like it's this whole narrative of because when like benny said uh 
people with words like they're not going to focus on the non they're going to focus on the violence exactly. they're going to focus on oh like so that's that's why it's, so a it's the narrative yeah. So, yeah it's like oh they say they're not going to be violent you know they, they say they're not going to be violent but i don't know yeah. Yeah. literally when you say non-violence people just hear violence and then like that's it right so yeah. if you're talking about like all oh, of these they're they're non-violent protesters non-violent protesters that implies that there is like oh they're, they're oh there might be violent they might be violent protesters maybe i mean they say they're non-violent right and again that's another reason where it looks like where tyt stand they've been have their little dog whistles back in the day like even yeah. when it came to like um when anna went after olemi on twitter yeah. um which and olemi like clapped back like why are you talking to me crazy olemi told them why are you guys coddling i feel like you guys are doing coddling white woman tears hour right now yeah like, for what sure. she said was this outwardly transphobic and like olemi was the one that, that didn't even do the um, she didn't do no filibuster she didn't do no kind of like for sure. she just said what she had to say she kept it real she kept it real like she kind of blamed like random Twitter people for me leaving. <laughs> like I don't have agency over myself, you know. I can't. I can't obviously be a grown adult human woman, and uh, obviously it was other people that made the decision for me. And not, well, like, you put out a whole video addressing it yeah. very directly. <laughs> this all like blew up from that led to like Benny finally just going and yeah. quitting so it's just like, it's like surely they would have more to say to benny and the fact that like you know the three creators that were lgbt girls that quit you would imagine that if they had if they really wanted to stick on this stance and say like no this is where i stand and and you know they would have more to say at those three people this is jenk yeah. so this is people yeah jenk yeah so this is this is about benny mm. he said one she quit so she so she said he said one she quit so she is too pure for us. Two, she is a she is an an unhinged person who has called me evil, racist, transphobe, and other endless insults, and lied about our private conversation. Wow, what a level-headed person that I can learn in quotations from and quotations grow by talking to. Great idea, laughing emoji. So that's Jinx. That's Jinx pick. So, uh, Anna. Uh, some of the clips Miss I've Jenk seen. her out her way. Anna misgendered her out her, her on her yeah. way out. She's like, oh, we just you had quit. a comment. Oh, okay, let me in the chat by um one of my my regulars. Yeah, like to like, and Benny works uh, has worked with them for ages, and so they know her, and they know like how like that must be. A... She, she didn't transition yesterday. That's the thing. I said right. that I replied that to someone. Benny did not transition yesterday. So why are we? All, Cause like I know they never, they probably never misgendered her. Yeah. They probably. This is why like to like my Betty was like, oh they just sh you know they shockingly, I happen to be misgendered when I you know when uh, you my quit. her closey statements to me when you quit. Yeah. But and it's because I can tell because the thing is like, it was a purposeful uh thing because how have been. quickly she corrected herself. It it's not like she scripted it to be that way because she wants to. She knows like people are gonna pretend so that's a dog whistle right there. That's a being dog whistle if you say it. There's no way, like, if someone were to just misgender me and say sorry, like, you are being transphobic. You that was intentional because I don't even deal with that with es my family. Especially an employer and someone who has no, worked with them for a long time, knows of her. Like, that means she sees her as a man. That means she doesn't see her as a woman. That means exactly. in her mind, yeah, that's the only way. But that's the thing; it wasn't that. So that was intentional. We that was intentional. It must like, have been and there's intentional. no getting around that. And there's this all these just fans and all these trans people's comments like defending her. I even got called like I was like this one person's like something like shut up like Anna's sexy like and you what your wannabe white girl hair. And I was like they don't know about you. Huh? <laughs> I'm just like do you not see my phone? So like I don't know what he meant about that because i have curly hair right like um, um, that's not your vibe and like from what i assume to know about you you are not trying to have white girl hair <laughs> uh, no you, as you see you don't see no photos of me with straight hair you, you can't find one online <laughs> there's no photos how so, like while well, i've got you like how how has everything been since like you know you your in initial entry into leftist like youtube and then the fd signifier shout out really you know brought you into the oh, my... how's it been like good for you Love it. Oh, <laughs> thank you i want to say um i really do appreciate you like 
recognizing that because I'll have like bigots that will say like Jesse Jenner's launched your career. Uh, it's launching your career and, and like people don't know like I got put on by FD Signifier as you said as you know so you know like FD it was like a, a few other small creators getting FD's attention that got me to where I am they were like you got to watch your video pretty much kind of like vibe and I got lucky like folks advocated for me so um because I was friends with Bellamy I was friends with Bellamy um and I just needed to like put my effort into a video and I just I felt good knowing that she said she'd get it to him and she'd make sure he sees it Amazing. and she did that so Bell I, I truly like it's Bellamy oh, who yeah. has got me I to where I'm at so I'm gonna give her her flowers but um yeah so I just have to put in the work but um yeah as far as I can definitely say like it's been it's been amazing now i'm finally i think like i would say like this video because i had to take a i have taken a break sure. i have taken a break from um content as far as like up being uploading so i've been like doing like little behind the scenes work for my editor so that's been amazing i have an editor now so nice. moving forward like my content's gonna be much better also i have a new microphone coming sunday so i apologize for the it sounding lower but i'm here i, I will have better quality everything so, so well, i'm pretty stoked with that. i'm sure you're out but, yeah. me I, i'm still like <laughs> i'm still absolutely basic girl just on like just a, a like a camera that was like 30 pound like you know 35 dollars like so you're 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 good. you're good on this stream you're you're the you're the celebrity of the hour um <laughs> <laughs> no I, I i will say like i know i'm up and coming yeah. like i i that's kind of like pretty much like and but that's only because of like how Cornbread Two really took me in on underneath their wing. Yeah. Like they really went and like not only did like FD like boost me, but like at the time like I was going through where like I was seeing with my friends. Like I was I was moving out of a, a toxic situation where I was being an angry black woman. So I had to just like I was basically told like either we raise the rent on you or you move out. Uh, you only can be here for three more months if you do stay here on this race rent. And I said I'm good. I'll be out. I'll have my friends move me out because I was in SoCal at the time. But anyways, the fact that like I did a stream and I didn't tell L FD at all about like my GoFundMe. I just talked about um just like the topics that we were talking about and to get off that stream and get a thousand dollars donated to my GoFundMe just off of just like the second I clicked off yeah. of Streamlabs. Like yeah. that was amazing. So it, it's it's past just him helping boost me. Like these people like really help like fun my safe move so i'd be able to have everything i need for my move and have my deposit and just a little yeah. enough of a br enough just like to really get in and be all right for like the you know the first and last and whatnot and have one other month's rent so i'm not like worried yeah. and then here at chats go and do a charity stream and raise two thousand dollars for me to be able to have an extra few months more months to be able to uh give myself to make content so i really was in a safe space to be able to they really did like put me in a position that most other youtubers aren't given that like they are doing things on the side or they're building things up or they're hoping and whatnot. but i've been in a space where, like i just need to like drop my content and now i'm at a point where like you know I'll, I, everything is like spent and i was so lucky to even get to the month of july where this is now it's like it's all me and to for me to be all me i'm comfortable like i'm okay and i feel like when i start just dropping content like i'm really gonna go in and also because like locally like this is when all the art markets start so i have like now i'm in a space where like i'm just like i get to just do three art markets a month and then go just like go ham on youtube videos and i'm like Isn't that okay just how should be? like your art is beautiful by the way and um thank you I, I i i can't have any more like admiration for you and and your story and i think that the the thing for me especially with like leftist idea like things we work with on the left it's like this is how it should be you should have enough money to like move and, and just do everything you want to live a creative life where you get to do those three art shows a month and then put out content and and i really love to see that working in the community so like how fd signifier i always hear his name when you know like other um content creators read out their like patron name list at the end like when john the duncan reads out at the end of a video and i hear like 
safety signifier and it's like he's really out there supporting people and really like oh yeah what he preaches and that to me is something that like no one can ever take from this community and 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 so that mm-hmm. you know and and to me you're the personification of that like watching you on instagram having that like a little bit more like you know we've talked in in instant message not that much but like enough to be like so bunny's a real person and i'm like so supporting her on a friend like from my side like maybe a bit parasocial but like like you know you're real no. to me you know like but like abigail no. Thorne from uh you know philosophy tube is this like high-end celebrity that like if she noticed me i'd probably faint but you're like you know no. watching your growth has been so wonderful and and that has you know i i also think it's lovely that that's brought us to have a conversation which we probably wouldn't have had and and it's you know yeah, i was I'll say this most people don't follow my Instagram so like my Instagram is real as you see it's like my personal life like that's not stuff I tweet about like I'm not sure do you use Twitter I don't I've never used Twitter okay so see the recent stuff like I'm I'm a bit against it now anyway which is a shame I feel like I'm I feel like I'm so out of the loop I feel like I'm that nerd it's like high school Twitter (laughs) because y'all talking about Twitter I haven't got a clue I'm going to say this. Instagram, I am not how I am on Instagram on Twitter at all. I'm very, like, strictly, like, about, like, uh, content or just things that's going on or, like, chiming in. And, you know, that's just pretty much me on Twitter. But, like, Instagram is literally, like, it's kind of an extension of my Snapchat in a way. The way I kind of look at my Instagram. So you actually, like, see how, like... You just see my day to day sometimes. Yes. It's, this is just me just doing me. So you, yeah, you you got to see the side that most people like. I have a couple people, like I said, like it's only like let's say ten percent of people, maybe no less than that, maybe like two percent people will follow my Instagram, but most okay. people go to my Twitter. Nice. People like Twitter. I guess people are messy. They like Twitter. I think if I was on Twitter as well, I'd get like banned. I'd be I'd become too much of a savage. I'm like I don't trust myself <laughs> to have that instant like thought to type ratio as at least with instagram i have to like yeah. think about what like photo or something we briefly talked about this when you came out with your video about um you know the white left and talking about like kefels and mm-hmm. bullshit stuff and i as it, like i so this is something i'd love to have the opportunity to try and say i really just find it so difficult to have a say because it's not my place to say and i like to just be like uh, I'd just like to learn what is appropriate. And so, for example, on the on the, the video yesterday with the six creators, how Olemi, uh, how Ole is it, um, gave you Ole me, yeah. yeah, gave you the floor, let you talk over the other white people in the room, and like let you had have the space. It was fair. It was equity, not equality. And it was like, I think that a lot of uh, people like in the in the left, like Kefels and Vorsch and stuff. It's like they they're they're doing the test but they're not putting in the homework like do you know what i mean that they're not they're just not unlearning some of the stuff that they need to unlearn and i don't want to come across as the like oh i get it though so like i'm different and then i'm just making the same mistakes and trying to be the white girl on leftist that understands that you know like you know i'm not going to be that but like from from your perspective like especially with your kind of the story with ft signifier like growing your channel and, and like and you putting in the work to match that as well like how has it been i mean you have you had you've had loads of pushback i understand and how how yeah. from your perspective what's the what's it been like i'll say this i have so much more support than pushback the pushback just sound loudest and also it was just a lot for me like i took the harassment thing was really hard because i also got dumped in the middle of me being harassed like it was like yeah. it, and then then was my the week of my birthday too it was like all of it happened at once. So like, you know, in the moment, like it looked like I got a lot because it, it was like their fans doing the most, but that's why I can say like the the only thing I can say, not only, thing, but there's so many good things that happened about it, but like because because there's people that didn't even know who I was that found out about me because I was being harassed that probably never would have known me yeah. if they didn't got to see these people going ambitiously dogpiling because people are following if they're not following me they're following someone else and they're seeing like why are you guys attacking this girl what did she do and they go actually watch my video like are you serious and then they go boost me and that's what's been i'm so lucky so i have people that like so many more times my size like 200k 400k and so on you know who are 
talking to me directly who are actually my friends and actually are helpful and like boosted me that didn't have to so like i'm in a really unique space i can say like i'm unique from like how i got supported onto like youtube as far as like even like financially to make sure i was safe as a black trans woman in my move and be able to and then have a fun to do content so i they can put black trans issues and topics and perspectives on youtube so people can be more educated on us because our voice are basically non-existent and then to also get harassed and then people not you know pretty much what they us we would call it uh, they, they didn't professor flowers me they didn't get away with it i'm not sure if you know professor flowers or lua yeah, I remember but um, yeah you know they were trying to do a 2.0 of that yeah. and yeah that was honestly like insane to kind of like so i'm really appreciative that people now that there's a cornbread tube because back then with professor what happened to press Fires, there wasn't as of a strong voice like we all were still trying to figure out where we haven't either we didn't exist or you know it was just yeah, a, a it moment so it didn't feel like it was as established and there were people fighting on yeah. professor flowers's behalf but it wasn't the the rallying that we saw and i, I did a, a quick chat with john the duncan i don't know if you know him yeah i know john the duncan yeah, he's amazing um, i've been following him since then yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, we talked about the similar thing and like yeah it did have a different sense of the community now and it was I, it's, it's hopefully that we would know that wouldn't happen but you still have the diehard like Vosh and and, Profess, uh, and and Kevl's fans that will that they will un, they will just blindly do as they're told and, and if that means attacking a small creator for having a, a, a decent take <laughs> then no no that's the thing that's what I want to say let me let me get this out to your audience now like <laughs> mind you before the upload I only have 3k subs how the hell am I going to harass big ass channels like me harassing like no like and, and i would just like make like a tweet like about like what i'm how i'm feeling and what i'm going through like i'm being harassed for making a video about online harassment because that's what my video was about that's like and it was also like the white leftist social complex like obviously but it's also like the harassment that racist bigoted white people uh that also happen to be racist because it bigot and racism go hand in hand so yeah uh yeah um and that's just the whole thing and my whole thing like i at a time like for a while supposing like how i'm just gonna private my content but um after having some really uh fruitful conversations i can say um I was really affirmed after, uh, after, I'm not gonna say anything about what he said, but I'll say this. They most definitely affirmed me when I opened up about how I felt about being harassed mm -hmm. and how I wanted to prep my content, you know? Like you brought up, like, with the equity thing, like they, Olami allowed me to speak. Like she, mm -hmm. she let me when I was, she saw when I was trying to talk, she's like, she yeah. made so sure like, oh, yeah. so let me go. Look. Like, she did that multiple times yeah. for me. She made sure and, I was glad that I was giving me those opportunities to really say what things I had to say because I was really appreciative that I didn't expect for some parts for the conversation we that what it did. I just wanted to make sure that some things like hey, I noticed this and I, I didn't forget this part that like kind of like I couldn't like get off my mind. So let me like lay this out and you know and that whole conversation was very fruitful conversation. Like despite like the subject matter, like, they got us together to like so putting aside this like I'm gonna say this right now what I'm trying to include you. As much as like, and because they don't wash and all of the debate roses, I would say they don't. They don't do that. They don't. They they they'll bring, they'll have their guests on. They'll end up arguing. That's the kind of. Shit that yeah. Is. If you think about it, yeah. it's funny. They'll be like, oh, lay me, Lance, and who knows are like arguing with all the three other trans people on the guests. Well, don't say this. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You know, like the how? What kind of shit is that? <laughs> you know, like, sorry, I, I shouldn't be cutting, but um, on in your stream. But anyways, but yeah, it's like this whole. And they, they got it backwards they got it all backwards yeah, because the problem is they they want the aesthetic but they don't want to do the work because yeah. that doesn't suit them they want to be able to live comfortably yeah. being big brain yeah. and get paid for it yeah. and then basically call us oppressive in woke schools yeah. for trying to be like hey well this is what you're saying you are so you don't have to say your allies to black people you don't have to you really don't you could just go do you. You don't have to like do this. You don't have to like better to do just it. leave us alone. Just don't bring it up. Better but not do it than they do it wrong. be engaged. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just but I will say this. They are in a dying ecosystem. They're they're not they don't have the strength that you see. That's why like I'm a perfect example. If they had the power they had back in like when what they did to Professor Flowers, mm. Lua, I wouldn't be here right now. I wouldn't be on Olamy's talk show yeah. with Lance. And he was before Mike Figueroa or with Benny, or friends with Benny now, and all this stuff. Like, 
the the times have shifted people like they have gone after people relentlessly number by after one by one by one and i put a video on that and laid out some of the ones that because they're i'm not i was not gonna include all of them i included just i i had an i had i want to use examples of what i was talking about that like me breaking down you know the the white leftist industrial complex like i was yes. breaking up the complexes of white leftists that haven't let go of their racism that really are like struggling to actually be an ally because of their um you know their, their cognitive dissonance their ego egotistical um you know some of the white queer community you know white woman tears you know it's you know people just like lacking intersectionality just period like wanting to speak above folks like that yeah. that is dying out and that's become it went from like they ran 2020 2021 maybe half of 2022 i think after the cat black thing that's when it was over with that's when it literally when they went after cat black that was the moment where like people are like okay this is too masked off and that's yes. that definitely made a whole rift and that's where that was they insane. didn't gain power from that they lost power yeah. they lost power from that and they've only been on a downward spiral from there yeah and their their way to recover that uh space was by recruiting someone like keppels mm. because keppels was trans mm. and that was the one thing they've hid behind yeah but um then you know and keppels had like it was a perfect situation where like she they went after her folks went after her they spotted her they doxed her and it made her the darling of that space and untouchable but then like but the girl was still doing racist stuff and saying racist stuff and it came to the point where she even went as far as to do the whole say her name discourse and went after jesse jenner and just started spiraling she was spiraling she was genuinely spiraling the girl was spiraling and that's why she fumbled her own bag like she was able to probably get away with the way she was but now people don't take the girl seriously like that no more she don't have as much power as she used to she's honestly like it's definitely a different era for her it's a different effort yeah she's definitely in her flop era i'll say that I'll, she's up here now girl like she didn't apologize she just got help after she came out of her rehab and just is still doing the same foolishness and, and again i don't wish that on anyone that's like, i don't think anyone deserves to be docked and, and like and of course like that, that goes without saying but um some of the no what have you said problematic that's a given you've, I mean, that's... you've brought up and that i've seen is like I think as well, like, we should have a higher standard here on the left as well. Like, we should, like, the, like I said earlier, like, the platform where LME was giving you more of a voice, like, that's what we stand mm -hmm. for. That's exactly what we should be doing. Like, and you yeah. could, you could see the other people in the panel that were not quite used to that. And they were like sitting there like, oh, I'm not used to sitting and listening. Yeah, that's interesting. And it was like, <laughs> kind of good. Like, you know, that's, that's the world we should be living in. Um, but so like like i don't want to ask like for you to do the work for me because i get that that's counterproductive but like if you have anything else that you'd be like look don't do this and you're safe or like look, as a white creator on the left if you avoid this like you know da, 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 or like that anything that you have seen especially my content's really new and i'm so baby new that i'd love to not make any mistakes ever does that make sense well i'm new too i am a baby too i just got in a lot of support so like i can say like i could get pointers as a black person on what we want to see so like i say like we were talking about anything like moving forward if you can reach out to folks like if this is like if you want to do a video about like anti-black racism or like affirmative action in america like the ruling and what uh, even anything you can reach out and I, i'll be happy to collaborate I'll, I'll tell you that personally and i'd be more than happy to make an appearance lovely why not because i do want to boost because that's another thing like it's not just i'm not, not just in the cornbread tube space i'm in the um intersectional left space especially the intersectional queer yeah. leftist space so you know yeah that massively where like i have a lot of i'm not just supported by like black folks black leftists i'm supported by like that a lot of queer leftists that have platforms like i said like i really appreciate jesse jenner she's genuinely a friend like they yeah they they, they they know me they 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 were getting to know me personally in a way that like i haven't allowed even people in my own area yeah where i live to know me so i'm in a yeah. really left position jesse so jenner i can say like, yeah well I, yeah, I would love she's... to collab and and set up a proper conversation i'll come back with some actual questions and like some topics so that I can optimize that yeah. time, but um, I feel like we've got loads more That'd we could be... talk about for sure. No, yeah, definitely. Um, it's I was I'm basically trying to say is like yeah, try to include 
we talked about like how Lamy did. She brought trans people on yeah. to talk about trans issues. I'm not saying you got to bring me on for trans issues, but like that's an example for a cis person that's like they're not talking about trans issues yeah. on a panel without trans people. Yeah. Like so, and as you saw, she gave me and other trans people the floor to speak. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, there's thought. I would say like. And I appreciate you. You've been reaching out, so I've just been really hard to reply to. But like, yeah, I was like reaching out to us and like actually getting that you you have an opinion. If we actually are open and free, like we'll we'll check it. It depends. Like it's not like I tell you to go ask FD Signifier to go read your script or something. But like that's not what I'm saying. But like when you have like, because I'm at a point where like I have friends that are down to like peek at my script and just like. I'm at, it's cool. So like I'm saying is in general is not, not that, but I'm saying like reach out and, yeah. and authentically, like, isn't it? if you have it yeah. authentically, but like not in a, like a, yeah. So like not in a way where we're like, oh, let me go ask this black person, this, this specific black question only then go and go leave. Like, no, yeah. I know it's harder for other folks, but I would say it's going to get better. Like the space is growing. We're, we're established. It's a movement. Like cornbread tube is a movement. That's what it Absolutely. pretty much is supposed to exist. It's a movement that we're, because at first it was like a meme and then it was like oh let's let's actually like let's make it real make yeah. this wave yeah get that and i so, think i think there is a yeah. new wave of the leftist youtube entirely as well like we had no 100 percent. yeah yeah it's a new it's, it's just like learning its own learning its own like kind of teachings more as it goes and like and this is this is why i think like like kevles and Bosch, they're kind of an outdated version of like they're not really mm -hmm. preaching That's they're not really yeah practicing what they preach whereas a new wave are and like that's gonna hopefully like kind of take over if that makes sense well i, I won't keep you anymore <laughs> as well because I, I i've already taken so much of your time and somebody i'm so grateful for you Thank dropping you. by i'd love to set up a proper collaboration i'll do some work on like what topics will be great and and i'd love to do some more research into your stuff and like really kind of soak it up um so thank you so much for your time you look amazing as always and I, I you know i'm always creepily watching your insta stories from the, the background and supporting you however much i can so yeah i'll reach out if that's okay um i'm probably gonna if it's okay with you like clip around and make this into a video as well and release it in the next couple of days is that okay can i tag you in it and stuff sure go for it amazing go for it. and i'll share it on my community tab that would be amazing yeah I, I honestly i can't thank you enough it's been a pleasure there's so many things i wanted to talk about and um again i didn't want to come across as this annoying white girl that's like talk to me but um so it was great to get you know to hear your actual voice about everything um i'm still a little bit starstruck i'm not gonna lie um so yeah keep happy doing what you're doing i'm so happy for you any other final words you want to say anything at all um go watch olaney's video that conversation's a must mm -hmm. it's honestly we touch so much so many topics and we also sit straight especially for those who are not certain about the situation because I know we're taught we're covering the TYT thing. So definitely more context. You might as well maybe in the future you should like maybe cover. I don't know. Clip it, but yeah. like definitely that's a video. Not everyone else in chat like check out that video. The video is amazing. You'll love it. Thank you so much. Okay. I will Bye. thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Love you lots.